Hey, what's up everybody? Today I want to talk to you guys about one of the lights that's really redefined my visual style in these videos and has enough versatility to be used in pretty much any situation. Of course, the light that I'm talking about is going to be the Amaran 60XS. But before we get started, if you guys are into audio and video stuff and you're enjoying the content, definitely make sure to like, subscribe, help the algorithm out and help us get to 1000 subs. But with that being said, starting off with the packaging, the 60XS comes in one of these standard foam cases from Amaran. In my opinion, this is probably the weakest point of the entire light system since the case is rather small and you need to do a really good job of winding the cables up and remember exactly how the light was shipped since each part of the package fits super tightly into its own spot. But inside, we get a standard wall plug, we get a power brick with a DC adapter. Unfortunately, that doesn't really come with a cable tie from the factory, so I would highly recommend buying some cable ties. And if you do want to get some, I'll be leaving links to everything down in the description for you guys. You also get an adapter, so this will allow you to use Sony NPF batteries to power this light. But we also get, of course, the light stand to baby pin adapter so that we can actually mount this light onto light stands and then you get the light itself along with its hyper reflector and a little diffusion which could probably double as a shower cap if you wanted. If you guys are starting out in filmmaking and content creation, you may ask why would you want to go with something like this versus something like the newer 660 RGB lights that I did a review on a couple of months ago. These seem less interesting, but coming from somebody who owns a ton of different lighting styles, like panel lights, like tube lights, if I had nothing and I wanted to get a light to do basically anything that I wanted, this would be something that I would get because this has a Bowens mount which opens you up to a load of different light modifiers similar to how an interchangeable lens camera can, can be configured to tackle pretty much any situation with the right lens in your kit. The next thing that makes this light particularly useful is that it's a hard light. And since all of the LEDs are concentrated in a small area, this means that you're going to be able to do things like not just use soft modifiers, but also hard modifiers. So you can use, of course, your soft modifiers like a soft box like I'm using right now, or you can use lanterns, but you can also use hard light modifiers like an Amaran Spotlight SE, which can actually be able to spot this thing down into a single nice circle, or you can do gaffer cuts or other things like that. You can also use barn doors on this and get very clean, precise cuts. And that is something that you just cannot do with other types of lights like panel lights or these tube lights in the background. Another thing is that if you're on a bigger production and you wanna set up a frame and you wanna get super soft light, you can actually use the hyper reflector to give you a significantly higher output than the standard light by itself. And you can use that to create complex soft setups like book lighting. So moving on to operation. You really have two options here and you can use either the onboard controls or you can use the Citus Link app, which I'm going to be discussing in a little bit. So to operate this light using the onboard controls, it couldn't be easier. There's only one knob which has a click function. So if you want to be able to dial in your power precisely, just rotate the dial to whatever power you want goes in 1% increments. And if you want to jump to a ballpark power, you can just short click the button one time and that'll go up in 20% increments. If you want to modify your CCT, it's pretty much just as simple. Just press and hold the button on the back of the light to put it into CCT mode, and then click the button to jump between presets of 2700, 3200, 4300, 5600, and 6500 Kelvin. Or you can just rotate the dial to go in 100 Kelvin increments. Another thing that makes this light particularly nice for creators just starting out is, as I had mentioned before, the Citus Link app. So this is absolutely the best lighting application that I've ever used. It's extremely simple, it's clean, it works on both iPhone and iPad, which is really nice. And the other thing that makes this particularly useful is that once you buy an Aperture and Amaran product, you can just link them to your account. So even if you're on set and your phone dies and you need to borrow somebody else's device, since the lights are all connected to your account, you don't have to repair them to the new device. They just automatically pop up. Also, you can group lights together to control them as a scene, and there's some pretty nice effects and other things like that. So you can do custom fades if you want, you can do uh, lightning, candles, you can do fireworks, pretty much whatever you want, your standard types of lighting effects. One thing to note though is that this is just a standard CCT 
uh, color light, so it's not going to be able to output any RGB or anything like that. So you're not going to be able to get police cars or other types of things like that, but it's definitely a pretty solid light for what it is. So wrapping up here, overall, do I recommend this light? Absolutely. If you guys are looking for your first light, for $150, you really can't go wrong with this. It's super small, it's compact, and it has a really, really low learning curve. Since it's only one knob, you know, you just basically pull it out and it's pretty self-explanatory. You don't really even need to read the instructions. And even though it's actively cooled, the fan isn't really too loud. I'm going to be playing a little bit of test audio here just so that we can hear what it sounds like when the 60XS is at 100%. Do keep in mind, though, that I am going to be uh, pretty close with the microphone, so it'll be much louder and much more noticeable than normal. I'm using the light right now, and you probably can't hear anything. Another thing that I really love about this is that it's also a point source light so you can easily use hard light modifiers and again it features a full-size bones mount which really opens you up to a whole world of light modifiers which means that you can build your lighting kit and this will grow with you. You can also use this as an accent light once your lighting kit is fully grown and you know you can basically do pretty much whatever. This light is super versatile because it's very small it can be operated by batteries Overall, it's pretty nice, and if you guys are thinking of staying within the Aperture ecosystem, you'll be able to incorporate this into more complex lighting setups via Citus Link when you have more Aperture lights. But overall, I hope you guys liked the video, and if you did, definitely remember to drop a like, leave a comment down below, share with anybody who you think might find some value out of this. And if you want to pick this light up or anything that I've mentioned in this video, I'll leave links for you guys down in the description below. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Later.